Okay, in this video, we want to look at the notion of an integral of a differential two form in Rn. So let's go ahead and look at the setup. So we have a function phi, which is a smooth, continuous, infinitely differentiable function from d to Rn. d is a subset of R2. So we can think about that as parameterizing a two-dimensional surface inside of Rn. So think back to calculus three when you did surface integrals over say a sphere or a cylinder in R3, this is the same kind of idea. Back then you parameterized a cylinder or a sphere in R3. Now what we're doing is just parameterizing some surface, a two dimensional space in a much larger n dimensional space. Like I said, our goal is to find the integral of a differential two form, which we'll call omega over this surface S. Now let's just recall what a differential two form is real quick. We did this in a couple of previous videos. Check back on those if you need to. But if we have a differential two form omega, then it has a two stage evaluation. The, so the first stage is we take a point P from Rn and that produces omega sub P, which is a two form. In other words, it is a function from two copies of the tangent space of Rn based at P to the real numbers. So let's just recall this two stage evaluation. First you plug in a point and then you plug in these two tangent vectors and finally you get a number out. And then also recall that two forms are spanned by objects of the form dxr wedge dxs. And they have this following action. If you plug these two vectors, v upper one and v upper two into them, you get the determinant of this two by two matrix. So the first row is made up of v1, the rth component, and then v1, the s component. And then the second row is the rth component of v2 and the s component of v2. And so we generally did this for differential m forms in the last video, but since we're looking at integration this time and it's a little bit more complicated, we wanted to back up, back off just to two forms for now. Okay, so we're going to take inspiration from integration as it is defined in previous courses. So let's recall in calculus one and two, we wanted to define a definite integral over an interval of the real line a b and we did that first by partitioning this interval a b into n equal pieces we called the parts of that partition x0 x1 x2 all the way up to xn and then the length of each of the pieces of that partition we called delta x which was xi plus 1 minus xi Finally, that allowed us to define this definite integral as the limit as delta x goes to zero. In other words, the length of each partition goes to zero. And then the sum over f evaluated at xi times delta x. In other words, the value of f on one of the pieces of the partition times the length of one of those pieces of the partition. Then next, we built that up to something in calculus three, which is, was a double integral over a region D in the plane. And we did that in a similar way. So we had this two dimensional region D in the plane and we put a rectangular lattice inside of this two dimensional region. And then we called the area component here, delta A. So in other words, if we move in the horizontal direction, we have delta x. If we move in the vertical direction, we have delta y. So these are equally spaced in a rectangular um, setup. So if we think about this as like x i y j, then this point right here would be like x i plus one y j, and this point up here would be like x i y j plus one. Then taking inspiration from this up here, we define this double integral to be the limit as delta x and delta y both go to zero. So in other words, the horizontal and the vertical distance between our lattice points is going to zero. Then we have a double sum over the horizontal direction of the lattice points and the vertical direction of the lattice points f evaluated at the lattice points and then our delta a, which again was delta x times delta y. Okay, so now we kind of want to do the same thing for our differential two form. So in other words, we want to approximate tangent vectors to S at, la at a lattice of points inside of S and then add all of that up. So let's think about this cap here being our surface S. 
So we put a lattice of points on this surface. So that's what I've drawn here in red. And then that gives us our first stage of evaluation of our differential two form. So at each of these points, we can evaluate our differential two form down to a two form. So now it accepts two vectors from Rn. And those two vectors that we will accept will be these two approximations of tangent vectors at each of those points. So that's the general strategy. So we're taking inspiration for, from what we've done before to define the integral of this two form. Okay, so I'll go ahead and clean up this chalkboard and then we'll get to the real work. Okay, so like I said before, we want to have a surface over here in our space Rn. So here we want to think about this as our surface living over here in Rn, but we know that it's parametrized by, by a region of the plane. So let's go ahead and draw that region of the plane here. I'll give the axes names u and v here, just kind of like parametric variables. And over here, we've got this region of the plane, which maybe we'll call d. And then our function phi is wrapping this region of the plane into this surface in Rn. Okay. And like I said, we want to somehow get a lattice on this surface in Rn, but we can let that surface in Rn inherit um, lattice points from a rectangular lattice over here in the UV plane. So I'm only going to put three lattice points because that'll be enough for illustrative purposes, but you can just think about there being a ton of lattice points over here in the UV plane. So maybe we would call this one right here would be equal to uh, ui vj, and then this one right here would be ui plus one vj, and then this one up here would be um, ui vj plus one. And so by rectangular, I mean that you go straight horizontal to get from this point to this point and straight vertical to get from that point to that point. Okay, great. So now our first stage of evaluation requires us to have a point over there. And so what we can do is take the image of all of these lattice points over here in the surface. So maybe those lattice points would come over here to the surface like this. So maybe this point right here is the image of UI VJ. Maybe this point right here is the image of ui plus one vj and this point right here is the image of ui vj plus one great so the next thing that we want to do is recall that in order to fully evaluate a differential two form we first need to evaluate it at a point in the surface and then two vectors that are tangent to the surface well let's just say we can evaluate it at this point here on the surface and all we need now are two vectors that are approximately tangent to the surface. And after we take some sort of limit, they will be tangent to the surface. So the two vectors that we're going to be working with are the images of this vector right here and this vector right here. So in other words, the horizontal vector from one um, of the rectangular lattice points to the other and the vertical uh, vector from one rectangular lattice point to the other that's happening over here in our domain of our parametrization. Great. So here, maybe I'll make this vertical one green just so that it looks a little bit different. So that's going to correspond to this blue vector over here and this green vector over here. But we can write down equations for this blue and green vector pretty easily because we know the initial and the terminal point. So know that th notice that this blue vector will be given by phi of ui plus one vj minus phi of ui vj, the terminal point minus the initial point. And then the green vector will be given by phi of ui vj plus one minus phi of ui vj. Again, the terminal point minus the initial point. So let's see what we've got so far. So, so far we have a point on S and that point on S is phi of ui vj. And then we have two approximate tangent vectors 
And those are this blue one and this green one, like we had described before. And those are in the space T, V, U, I, V, J, R, N. Great. Now, taking inspiration that uh, an integral is really taking a big sum and then limiting as the points of that sum get closer and closer together, we now have all of the pieces that we need in order to define the integral of this two form. But before we do that, let's think about how we can appropriately push these lattice points closer and closer together. Well, we can do that by pushing the lattice points over here in the domain closer and closer together. So if we push these lattice points closer and closer together, because phi is a smooth function, those lattice points will go closer and closer together. So in other words, we have our formula that we can write down. So the integral over the surface S of omega will be equal to the limit as delta U and delta V both tend towards zero. And I should maybe point out what delta U and delta V are real quick. So delta U will be the distance of this horizontal vector and delta V will be the distance of this vertical vector. So we can think about having equally spaced lattice points here. And now we'll take the sum over all I and J of omega evaluated at phi of x i y j. So that is our first stage of evaluation from a differential two form down to a two form. And now we want to put in this blue vector and this green vector. So in other words, we'll have phi of u i plus one v j minus phi of u i v j and then phi of ui vj plus one minus phi of ui vj. Great, and that is an appropriate definition for our integral of our two form over a surface that has been inspired by the way we defined integrals in uh, past courses. Okay, so now we can actually play with this until we get it down to a closed formula that will allow us to evaluate these things. So let me clean up the board so I have some room and then we'll do that. Okay, on the last board we got to the following. Okay, on the last board we got to the following point. So we had this rectangular lattice of points U, I, V, J inside of D. D was our space in the UV plane. In other words, a two dimensional space in R2 that parametrizes our surface S via this function phi. So in other words, S is a two dimensional surface in Rn and then we call delta u, ui plus one minus uj, ui. So in other words, the horizontal distance between points in that lattice and delta v is the vertical point, vertical distance between points in that lattice. And that gave us this following motivated definition for the integral of the two form over s. So that's the limit as delta u and delta v go to zero. In other words, the horizontal distance and the vertical distance between lattice points in that lattice and then omega with its two stage evaluation, first stage at phi of u, i, v, j, and then second stage at these two vectors, which are approximately tangent vectors to our surface. And so these live in the tangent space to R n at this point, phi of u, i, v, j, and they're phi of u, i plus one, v, j minus phi of u, i, v, j, and then phi of u, i, v, j plus one minus phi of u, i, v, j. Now what we want to do is use some calculus to simplify this a little bit and some properties of two forms. So let's recall that two forms are bilinear, which means they are linear in both of these entries. So we'll use that to our advantage. We'll divide this first entry by delta u and we can counteract that by multiplying the whole thing by delta u. Then we'll divide this entry by delta v and then we will counteract that by multiplying the whole thing by delta V. And then we wanna notice that what's happening here is that the second entry is staying the same and the first entry is changing in the same way that this denominator is changing. But that's exactly how you define um, the partial derivative after of course taking the limit. So as this limit is occurring right here, delta u going to zero, this thing is actually approaching the partial of u, phi with respect to u evaluated at u i v j.
And then similarly, this thing over here is approaching the partial of phi with respect to V of ui vj. Great. But now what we have is only functions evaluated at ui vj and then delta u delta v. But now this looks exactly like the definition that we had for a double integral. So this is going to be equal to the double integral over d. And that's because our lattice is building this space d. And then you might say, well, what function are we integrating? Well, our function is built from this vector field evaluated at this parameterization with these guys plugged in as the second evaluation. In other words, we have omega evaluated at phi of u v and then further evaluated at d phi du d phi dv and then finally da. That's what this delta u delta v is. That is our delta a component. Okay, so let's just talk through this. So we first evaluate omega at this function phi of u v, great. And then we evaluate it at two vector fields, d phi d u and d phi v v, d phi d v. And finally, that gives us a function which we can do just a plain old double integral of in order to find the integral of this differential two form. Okay, great. So I think that's a good place to stop. We'll come back in the next video and do several examples of this.